Thank you, Lady Dee Dee, for that wonderful special You're welcome, Dee. music. Thank you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you will turn to First Chronicles 11, 14, doth not even nature itself teach you it's a shame for man to have long hair. Amen. I'm telling you, it's a shame. Amen. Get your hair cut for the kingdom of God is in your hand. This rampant rebellion crossing America today, I'm telling you, it's wrong. They're buying evil clothes. They're eating evil food. Amen. They're growing evil sideburns. And what's that evil? Evil, I'm telling you, it's rebellion. Amen. So fill out that donation card. Fill it out to me, Deacon Larwell Jones, so that this ministry may go on, that it may be fruitful and multiply on wings of eagles, strong as the burning bush that killed Goliath. And when David slew the lions with two smooth stones, five loaves, his nets were so full that Moses left the ark. Oh, how will the hairs of your head be numbered if they're as long as the lilies in the field? Heaven, oh, folks, listen to me. Heaven was made for decent folk, not those hairy hipsters with ponytails and long hair and jewelry and earrings. I'm telling you, it's wrong. Mary Magdalene, she anointed the fig tree, but Jonah, he was eaten by locusts in the desert, and Parma went farther than we could have ever dreamed. For when two or more pass through the eye of a needle, so shall the bonds of matrimony fall like the walls of Jericho. Preach it. What a mustard seed begets the leper, so let no man put us under. Let's pray. 